If I say something in a piece that you can relate to, then you have to stand up. Cool? Cool? This is for us uh, less than perfect people. So all you perfect people out there, what I'm going to request for you to do is stand up if you know somebody who's dealing with something that I'm talking about. I want you to stand up for them. Okay? Okay? Okay. Ooh, it's a tough crowd. It's all right. I'm going to be honest. Be honest with yourselves. Be honest with God because you know the truth. It's up to you. So here we go. It's time to stand up. I was on the back row, back pew, bottom of the barrel, end of my rope, filthy, looking for the soap, guilty, gluttonous, addiction at its ugliness. Couldn't manage to pump my brakes, but I know I was tired and had enough of it. Lust, lies, and gossip, whatever you want, I know what they got. It. Sex, drugs, streets, and money, I seem to lean to all those topics. And I can speak on shining wheels, diamonds and grills, popping pills, cheap and kill, even a late night hype after hours, strip club thrills. Oh, it's real, but I really feel a lot of times something is wrong. Sometimes certain things don't sit right in my soul, inside of me something's going on. And I can't take some of these preachers serious. I swear I have some demons in their spirit. And spiritually, instead of taking me where I need to be, you just talking too loud and taking it too far. I'm trying to find salvation in Jesus and Satan in my head, having a tug of war. You done said a lot, but ain't said enough To get me to do something so simple as just stand up You know what I'm talking about When you want to lift your hands up high and praise But this is as far as they'll go When you want to get out your seat, go and join church But something keeps telling you no And I don't know why it seems so hard Yeah, it's awkward, but it's odd Some of us to get up in the middle of the night And drive across time for sex We can't take a couple of steps for God Man, you better stand up You drop Complain about being broke, but let the offer pay pass you by. Drop a couple of prayers here and there just to get by. You under attack in the back, can't get ahead, and you wonder why. You get to stand up, it's incriminating. This is automatic confession. But you worried about what we think, so you're sitting there missing your blessings. But something you can't worry about everyone else. You get a one on one with God for yourself. Just stand up, and then we call ourselves men. But when it's time to man up, he just talk. He ain't man enough. So simple as just stand up. Do you call yourselves men? The man I'm calling you out. Because this man shall let no man stand between me and the blessings God has in my house. Stand up. Yeah. Sister, sister, did you ever consider that Mr. might not be well liked by your family and your crew? But Mr. might not be acting right because Mr. ain't Mr. right for you. But how could he be right for you? When things all you do is move through relationships and dudes based on the approval of your crew. This is your girl saying he was too slept with me. Care. You can try to get me up the next morning and find yourself there. Stand up for your integrity. Look at the situation objectively. Examine the role you play and stop letting these clowns treat you so disrespectfully. And if you're tired of being there, if you truly had enough, baby girl, all you got to do right now is stand up. If it seems like the weight of the world is on your shoulders because we're drowning in debt. If it ain't one thing, it's another. Look at the check to check. Scan the after our phone. Bill connected. Bring it down our necks. We got dead and chest pain and Nice, all related to stress. Well, it would be easier for us to breathe if we weren't so easily influenced by greed. He opened up a window and poured a blessing that there wouldn't be room enough to receive. Instead of asking God for something every time you hit your knees, why don't you try giving him thanks for already giving you everything you need? Because honestly, honestly, God has already blessed us with more than enough. Some of us can't count our blessings and acting like we're too good to stand up. Don't envy mine. Don't envy my shine. I guarantee you, I'm far from perfect. But the reason I shine is I'm standing in line with my purpose. God put me here to do a service. And it's because I'm in that divine alignment. Instead of trying to keep up with the Joneses, I'm trying to stay on top of my assignments. Yeah. You see, everybody has a part to play. Everybody has a role. But why would I want what someone else has? Everything that glitters ain't gold. It wasn't me, it's for me. It was for you, it's for you. Funny how you want what someone else has, but don't want to go through what they had to go through. Yeah. Might not be able to handle what they had to go through. That's why what they have is out of my reach. But if you want what God has for you, come to your feet right now and stand up. And when God doesn't answer our prayers immediately, we have the nerve to get mad. We ask for million dollar blessings, we won't give up our trash. So we get stuck in that situation. That situation stays the same. We become stagnant and that madness. We begin to place blame so we get mad at our family, mad at our girl, mad at the crew, mad at the world, mad at the curse, mad at the Mad enough to cry, mad enough to swim. Some of us get so mad we forget we 
matter about. It ain't even worth it. Then we hurt the people we love the most and they don't deserve it. But if you're tired of giving your temper control, give God your mind, body, and soul right now to stand up. And when it comes to arrogance and conceit, some of us wrote the book, afraid to give God praise because we're too worried about how we look. But it's not about your clothes. It is not about your face. Because nothing is more beautiful than God's amazing grace. And that's as real as I can speak. That's as real as it's going to get. And you can't expect change if we stay where you sit. You see, we give God nothing, but we're going everything. But until you put God in your endeavors, your endeavors will never change. And that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, daddy says that I'm done. Doors of the church are open. Now come. Sit down.